let's agree it's almost like when we first met hey guys welcome back to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have a synthetic wig review for you guys this is one of the latest drops from from sensationals but a lace collection so I have not tried all of them but I think I've tried four of them so far and they have 17 now 17 I don't think it's released yet but I'm gonna be reviewing 16 today sensational was kind enough to gift me some of their um, new wigs I wanted to try this wig because to me it looked like Kamaya and the butter lace unit the butter lace collection is kind of like a sleeper to me because um, I tried butter lace unit 8 last month in May and was blown away at how easy it was to apply as well as how good the lace looked outside and that really inspired me to continue to do sunlight tests for you guys so I actually have bought butter lace units for you guys that I'll probably put up in July but I'm gonna have some of the more recent ones up this month and then some of the older ones up in July so just you know keep a lookout for that shout out to the new people who are stopping by please consider subscribing before you leave shout out to my returning subscribers as well as my premiere squad for watching this with me right now um, if you would like to be a part of premiere squad all you have to do is subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell go to all so you get all of my notifications and then you can just watch the premiere with us and chat as we watch it together so so I have two colors here um, I requested a number two but they were out of a number two so I'm here with a 1B again just like I was with Kamalia but you know 1Bs are darker but it's a vibe though it's not terrible so I have 1B and then I have flamboyage chocolate so we'll see what they look like I want to try them on without my makeup first because these are two different colors and sometimes I just want to make sure I don't have my eyebrows too harsh for the lighter color too so right, so I took them out of their package so here is the 1B first let me show you the stock card of what butter lace 16 is looking like I think she looks beautiful because sometimes the stock cards is kind of like uh, you know but I have it in a 1B I think the butter lace unit collection is a great collection because it's like a happy medium between like a regular lace part wig and um, a synthetic frontal wig so it's gonna be beginner friendly it's in the middle it's usually a cheaper price point than the wet lace collection I think the lace blends down better so I just prefer that so this is what the 1B looks like with 16 this 1B is very very dark like super dark kind of looks like a, a 1 but we're gonna make it work here's that part in space looks amazing no plucking or anything we do have some baby hairs there for people who like to use those I tend not to use baby hairs um uh, it's a personal preference I might do a little bit here and there the lace is on the lighter side but um I'm not gonna tint it I'm just gonna tint it with my foundation um, I just feel like that works better for me as of right now then we have two combs on the right and left side of the parting space and then we have a set part in the middle now I've seen people complain about the butter lace wigs and the outre melted hairline wigs being set parts but these are not like hardcore you know frontal wigs like the wet lace collection if you want to be able to switch your part just go with that collection instead of these these are not for that and I personally don't mind middle parts or a set side left or right so um, it has like this mesh cap and then it has a comb in the back and adjustable straps so I'm just gonna try it on to show to show you guys what it looks like and to let you guys know what size this cap is my hair is very flat I have some um, cornrows and I'm wearing a black wig cap because I think it looks better with frontal wigs it doesn't show through the cap oh this is very comfortable very very comfortable mm-hmm yeah y'all already know it's been probably probably like seven months since Altre's Kamaya dropped and that wig went crazy and it's still pretty much really hard to find and this is giving Kamaya and this is a fresh perspective because I haven't watched anybody's reviews yet this is 
beautiful so far. This does look like Kamaya. So if you're somebody who just, you know, you want Kamaya, but you can't get her just yet, you can go with this. And Kamaya is a set part too. So, I mean, this is already giving me that. Here's what the hairline looks like. I think it looks really good. Really good, but I'm gonna tweeze it up probably some more. Limbs check, let's see. This looks like it's about 20 inches long and I'm six feet tall, maybe 22. It's long, but it's not as long as um, Kamalia that I just reviewed. And that wig is very pretty, but the length was overwhelming even for somebody who is as tall as I am. Here is the back. Let's get into this density. Density to me is perfect. It's thicker. So this might be pretty hot for you guys for this time of year. But if you are somebody like me, you will wear any wig any time of year if you really like it. Um, but I do want to know, it's going to make you hot probably because this is thicker, which is nice. But if you live in a warm climate like I do, you're gonna be hot. Luster is gorgeous just already and it has the layers like I, I like. Okay so I'm gonna try on the other color just to see. So the next one is flamboyage chocolate. This is what she looks like. So we have the dark root which is kind of like a number two and then it slowly fades into this um, kind of reddish brown, which is very pretty. I had a Donna in like the flamboyage blonde color, I think, or sand. And I had to cut those highlights out because it was weird to me. So this is what the color looks like. So let's try her on. Same cap construction, obviously, so I'm not going to show you guys that. Very comfortable. So if you are looking for a big head friendly collection, the bubble lace units that I've tried, like, the eight that I tried last month was, you know, a large cap as well. So this is a lighter color, so it kind of feels different. It feels actually more silky. And baby, this shedding, and I've done absolutely nothing to it, and I have a lot of shedding. I didn't have that shedding with the 1B. It feels, wow, this is crazy. It's different. I don't mind, like, the dark root and then this you know medium brown color i think that's fine it's just when when they put highlights by your ear right there i just think that's so odd so this does not feel like the 1b the 1b was a thicker coarser texture yakky texture this feels like this is silky and it's shedding like wow i mean shedding a lot look at this y'all that is a lot of shedding, especially to not have the, the lace cut off. So I've adjusted the straps and I just have my wig grip on. I do feel like the lace is curling up though. So that's why I tend to wear my stuff glued down. I don't think you can wear it all the way glueless. You're going to have to put at least something on there because this is a big cap and it's not gonna lay down all the way in the front. It's okay if it doesn't lay down on the sides because it's the middle part, but. And I'm using my Eben Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. All the supplies I'll use to apply this wig will be in my Amazon storefront. I'm just gonna apply the front down just so you guys get a better read of what it looks like. I'm not doing a sunlight test on this one. I'm going to do it on the, the black one. Because they have the same lace. It's just the hair texture is not the same. Oh, I don't care. It's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'm going to show you how to move. How to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say damn and yeah you know what's up ain't nothing i won't do i won't do for your body so give me all you got right now i know i'm yours baby so come give me Yeah. 
When I'm with you, my legs go weak. Hey, can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat. Hey, this feeling is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you. You're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. back with the flamboyage chocolate color um in butter lace unit 16 so initially my goal was to rock this wig glueless because you know switching up two wigs and melting both of them is a lot but this cap is big so i had to melt it down because even with tightening the cap and then wearing a wig grip with it it's still the lace was still like puckering and lifting up front so i had to lay it down and I used the even lace tint spray and it dried down fast and then I followed it up with this elastic band let me tell you guys if you want your wig to be melted like for real you got to get this elastic band um taste pink put me on to it a lot of other people melt their their wigs this way as well but I watched one of her videos a few weeks ago and she sealed the deal and I immediately went on Amazon and got the elastic band that she uses and I just feel like my installs look even better than they normally do. The silk scarf that I usually use is cool but it doesn't have as much tension as this does so this is going to have your lace really really melted so highly recommend this. This will be in my Amazon storefront. I did not glue it down on the sides. I didn't feel it was necessary because this is a middle part. Now you guys saw my initial reaction to this one versus the black one. Um, and I have to say, I like this a lot more now after I did my makeup and then laid it down. Now, I still feel like this is not consistent with what the natural color looks like as far as like the texture. This is more silky. I wouldn't even call this like a yakky texture. I feel like this is on the silky side. So they're the same wig, but because of the color, the texture is not the same. Um, and it does have a luster to it. So I had to spray it down with my... Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo. This is how we dull the shine on our shiny wigs. So I sprayed that on the wig and I did cut some layers a little bit around my face and it looks so much better um, now. I kind of like the color but um, initially I, I just was kind of like why do they put the color here instead of having it like more evenly distributed and higher on the face. You know, it looks more summery. I think the color blend is, it's pretty, but it's just a little bit odd to me. Uh, the cons with this one, this one shed a lot. I don't really have tangling like that, but the shedding is pretty outrageous. And even before I cut the lace, you guys saw this particular one was shedding um, pretty bad. So I think I got her together though. I put some heat on the top with my blow dryer you can kind of see like a black line here. I think that is my wig grip kind of showing through a little bit. But overall, I think it's beautiful. It just has some some weird cons to it. I'm going to give it an 8. I'm not going to say this is uh, a terrible wig. It actually looks really nice on me. I just was kind of turned off with the shedding and the fact that this texture is not the same as the 1B color. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm not going to give this a low rating, you know, because some people like silky texture wigs. I just don't like that it's inconsistent with what the other color is, uh, the natural colors like. So, um, a 8 is solid. I think this is pretty and this is going to work for somebody. Um, this is actually, and this one appears to be even longer than the 1B. It's longer to me. I think it is. I feel like this isn't... This isn't giving Kamaya, this is giving more so like Seraphine. It's like stringier in this color, like thinner. Which for some people, if you're like me, you like your wigs a little bit thicker. But if you're somebody who wants a more natural density or, you know, it's hot this time of year. So you might want something a little bit more lightweight. This is lightweight. 
So this might work for you opposed to the other one. So I am going to take this off and if you don't know how to take off lace wigs that you've used got to be glued or um, like a temporary kind of adhesive, all you have to do is take a spray bottle. This is a continuous flow spray bottle um, and just saturate your lace, rub it in. I do this every day. Sometimes I'll just take my nail and run it under my lace and take it off. But just to be safe, use your spray bottle, massage it, ma massage it into your lace. And I'm going to do a sunlight test with the black one because I don't need to do both of them because they're both, they both have the same lace. They just don't have the same hair texture. Okay. So I'm just going to, okay, I still have some over here. going to run my nail underneath and bam hairline still intact that's how you're supposed to that's how you're supposed to take them off don't like rip it off your head and what i'm gonna do is since i already have on makeup i always recommend that you all wear or apply your lace wigs without makeup because it's going to make your install so much um cleaner and not messy but, um, you know, sometimes you have to do it afterwards. So I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol on a cloth and I'm just going to clean my forehead off so I have a clean surface to work on. If you are enjoying this review, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Shout out to my Premiere Squad who's watching this with me right now. I have already tweezed this hairline, so I'm going to go ahead and start to cut my lace this is so comfortable like <laughs> super comfortable big head girls this is for us if you have a small head adjust your straps and wear a wig grip the texture is like night and day this is so much like thicker and a yakky texture applied but lay 16 in the 1b color i use the same process to lay this wig as i did with the um flamboyage chocolate color i first started off with the i started off with the even adhesive spray i blow dried it and then um I, the only thing i changed this time is i use got to be glued and then smoothed it out smoothed it out over the lace just to make it melt more just to make it melt more. And then I put the elastic band and you know tied it on there to make it melt more. So if you wanna see like an in-depth process of me doing that, I just uploaded a video. My Outre Kamalia video, I show that in detail so you can watch that video. And it was pretty easy to apply. I just think the Butter Lace Unit wigs are easy to apply. I did twist the hairline up a little bit. And this is what we have here. So it's a different vibe than with the Flamboyage Chocolate. I, I actually like both colors. I think the Flamboyage Chocolate actually, it like, you know, wakes up my complexion and looks very like sun-kissed and, you know, everything like that. But Classic Black, ugh, it always hits for me in my opinion. And then I just think it looks good. I like 1Bs actually. Um, 
but for a long time I've always loved number twos because I feel like they are softer natural black but I think this looks good okay so as far as you know how I feel about this one in comparison to the chocolate color I feel like this one is thicker it feels more of a yakky texture it has a better and more natural luster to it um, but I'm not gonna knock that against the chocolate one because I do realize this is a preference thing I prefer natural yakky textures because it mimics my own natural hair but there are people who like silky textures so if you do like silky textures go with the lighter colors because it's going to give you that but um if you're somebody like me who likes the yakky textures go with you know a natural color like the 1b but it is a con that it's not consistent with the same wig so i wanted to note that but i'm not gonna 100% knock it because some people might want the silky texture. <sighs> I don't really have any cons for the black one like that because this one didn't shed. It didn't shed uh, much at all and I tweezed the hairline a little bit more on this one and um, I don't have tangling. My hands are gliding right through it but this is synthetic hair. It's gonna eventually do that but I have my pure silicone spray and a paddle brush and I'm good. I don't have any cons. I don't have any cons with this wig. The pros, this style is beautiful, it's classic. This style has been popular for years whether it is a simple part wig or a lace frontal and it feels a little bit thicker than Kamaya as well. It might be a little bit longer. Yeah, it might be a little bit longer than Kamaya but I like this a lot. I don't have any cons. I don't I didn't have to do any layering with this particular one because this one isn't as stringy. This one just feels even though this is, you know, a barrel curl wig, I feel like this one is juicier than the chocolate one. I did have to close up the part a little bit with a little bit of black eyeshadow and to blend the lace with my complexion and everything I used um, my foundation brush with some of my foundation on it and just put it on there. So as far as the sunlight test goes, I do feel like I could go a little bit darker with my foundation on my lace because I don't have to do a flash test to see if my if my lace is ashy during the day because you can tell if your lace is ashy during the day too. So it's a little bit light, but that's a me thing. So with the sunlight test, yes, you know you can see how it looks outside and it's very helpful to you guys but that still is going to be on you to you know get your lace to blend with your complexion if you use a powder or foundation that's too light or too dark it's gonna show like i'm just showing you guys the potential of what it can look like so it's still gonna fall on your hands and depend on the products you use and everything so um i just used my foundation and that was all i did with mine and a little bit of powder so I do it looks great on camera it looks great in the pictures I've taken on the inside but I just need to add a little probably a little bit more foundation I just don't want to overdo it because I have in the past and you know I've had some some mishaps with my lace but I think the lace looks good outside and I don't think I'd be embarrassed you know to wear this out because I showed you guys it in um, shaded sunlight as well as direct sunlight and I think it looks good uh, the direct sunlight it tends to look good with most wigs if you just don't screw it up but um shaded sunlight you can really tell if it's you know late or not and i think this looks pretty good in the shaded sunlight and direct sunlight so and it's pretty easy to install i feel like this is a big be a beginner friendly wig just like i told you guys the butter lace units to me are a happy medium between like the wet lace collection and just a simple part wig it's in the middle and the price point is usually cheaper than the wet lace collection so I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this one, especially in this black, but I'm not mad at the chocolate color either. It's just the texture is not the same and the, f you know, fibers just feel different. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a lot of content coming for you guys in June and I'm just so excited to bring it to you guys. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care. It's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say.